thing we're working on today is uh, more stuff for Lloyd's Restaurant in Birmingham. They really liked the um, sketch we did of the old owner, Eli. And so what they wanted us to do is create another sketch, but this time of the building so they can put it on t-shirts and that kind of stuff. So I'll just pull up the, uh, the sketch real quick just so we can look at it. It's a PNG, so let's drop a color back here. That's what it looks like. So it's got this kind of rough, sketchy quality to it, uh, light shading. And this was taken from a still from the video we did. Uh, I went over it with a little tablet I have and so you can see, you know, these lines are very light and rough. Um, and then kind of a letterpress texture. And then I went in with the darken and lighten feature, the burn and whatever the hell the other one's called, uh, dodge. Like you're doing a photo to lighten and darken some of these areas. So that was kind of the basis for this one. Uh, but the building, a lot more straight edges. Um, so I went with more of a charcoal brush instead of a pencil brush. Um, so yeah, this is what we're working on at the moment. Alright, so I guess let's go over what exactly we did. Alright, so here's the original image that I've cut out. It wasn't a frame. Um, so I sized it up, flattened it, and cut it out. And then the first thing we did was trace over it like this. So let's lower the opacity a little bit more. All right. So you can see I traced over parts of it here in this layer. Um, just the thick parts of the building, right? Uh, and so then the next thing I did was we've got our plants. So, sketched over those a little bit, right? Um, just outline them. The next thing I did was got a textured plant brush and laid in the dark areas. That was really, really dark, so I went down to an opacity of 25%. Uh, took away the outlines um, just because they were taken up, they were too dominant in the image. I even toyed with some lighter outlines. Maybe we'll use those, maybe we won't. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the next thing was shading a little bit. So we've got pretty flat shading. I'll undo this real quick. Um, just kind of trying to go back to this vibe a little bit, you know, really light, uh, sketchy kind of feel. So this we did here. I might go in and roughen up some of these edges a little bit. They're a little too straight at the moment. So let's, let's actually go do that. Actually, what I'm gonna do is get out my tablet real quick and plug that in. That'll be better than using my mouse. Into those tablets uh, for like 40 bucks. This thing kicks butt. It's tough to beat. Um, the only downside is it's not its own screen, so you actually got to trace and look at the monitor separately. But I mean, for what I use it for, it's tough to beat for 40 bucks. All right, so yeah, I'm just going and. Lift this up a little bit. We don't want it to be so even. You can see I'm kind of going in a straight line, but I'm not holding down the shift key, so it's not perfectly straight. So the the stressed areas are the erased areas are being erased kind of uh, more unevenly than they would be if I had down the shift key and actually erased erased. Uh, I'll probably still go in with either the dodge tool or just a really, really low opacity eraser and 
knock some of this out some more. It's just really harsh uh, going back and comparing it to the sketch we did of Eli. Um, so that's kind of going to be the, the struggle with this one, I think. Yeah, I mean, you can see these, these edges are just too straight. Now the charcoal pencil, I think, is rough and textured enough, but this fill, obviously, I just did a fill with a, like a letterpress brush, the large, large letterpress brush to kind of fill in all this area. Uh, but you can see the problem is, it just gets too, too straight which is fine in these self-contained areas here because that's covered up by the charcoal outlines but this is not so let's see I think that's better uh, this one I don't mind as much either let's see what we can do uh, you know what we're just gonna we're gonna lower this opacity a little bit because it's I think it's too dark. So let's basically unselect everything <laughs> except for that stuff. And this is just a lot of what this is, is trial and error back and forth. You think you got something looking good and then not really it doesn't look good. What are you gonna do? You gotta figure out how to change it. Right? It's also one of those where I looked at it yesterday and thought it looked good, and then I look at it today and it's worse than I remember. That's why it's always good to look at something with fresh eyes. If you need to take a break, walk around, do some other work, go ahead and, get, go ahead and do that if you need to, if you've been looking at something for too long, because you'll think it looks good, and then you look at it 20 minutes from then, the next day, whenever, and you're like, damn. It's terrible. Alright, so actually not lightening it too much. But we are making it a little bit lighter. I wanted it to be darker than the roof originally, but I just eh, I think we're gonna go lighter than the roof. It just, I don't know, it's not working for me. It's too, drawing too much attention to these beams being as dark as it is. So, uh, that's, I think that's better. we can do is go in here and do some of that because that is darker than the actual image yeah so we have a selection loaded up already Alright, for this one, we're going to go to our brush, and yeah, this is it. This is the huge letterpress brush, and we're going to do it in our black. Let's see, this brush, we're going to do it at 25%, because I don't want to pass over that many times. So. Do another 12% pass. Alright, 
just one more. I don't think that's good. Uh, like the other, these are really rigid edges, so we're gonna hit it again with the manga eraser. Just clean this up a little bit, make it make it rougher. Like these are actually leaves from these bushes that are kind of cutting into it, right? So I think that's kind of what we're going to go with for this. I think it's close enough. I think it's similar. Similar enough for now. Oh, uh, we forgot to put the shadows back on the roof. Oops, not that. There we go. So I had these shadows on the roof that I had laid down. And then I went back in and laid them down again. But erased out some of it. What I might do though is bring back some of these lines that he had here. So let me see about that. Let me see how how that would look. So let's create a new layer. Make, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity of this thing to like 50, 75, 75. Let me get rid of this. Yeah, I kind of like it right now. All right, so what we're actually going to do is to make this a lot easier. We're going to select the stuff so it's easier to sketch over because you just don't have to deal with it that much. You don't want to be worried about getting all over the place. Get in and go. That makes sense. So, like that. But we want to go the other way, so we want to come out. Eh. That's the one downfall, so let's go in and actually deselect some of this. So we actually don't get onto the other roof line. Because we don't want to do that right now. We want to, we want to have this be its own. This right here is a defined edge, so we don't want our marks to go over and across. We want it to end right there, yeah. We feel about this so far. This one we're gonna we're gonna lighten this one up. That yeah, just isn't bugging me. To be honest. Yep. This one we're gonna lighten too. I like this one. Don't like this one because the sun's kind of supposed to be coming from over here. I tried to point out with my finger, like y'all can see. Uh. Know, so got to kind of keep those lines lighter over there. All right, so this one, we're gonna deselect the areas we've already done. So we'll go over them again, and we're gonna have selected the areas we haven't done. See if we like how it looks enough to just keep it. I 
kind of like it. We're going to have to bring in the lines elsewhere for it to be, uh, to be consistent. So, but I like it. I like that it kind of brings in some of these elements we've had. So, we're rolling with it. Um, let's see. That's layer seven. We're just selecting this. This will be easy enough to select by itself. I say that, but we got a plant. don't hate it and we're gonna get in these plants and do that too because well we gotta be we gotta try to be consistent at least you know what I mean so let's see do we want this no that sucks so let's just make a new layer I'm just gonna do it and then see if I hate it later. <laughs> Which I probably will. Because I'm not liking it right now. But who knows? Yeah, no, that sucks. I hate it. Delete. Again, I think we're gonna get rid of that one too. I think I like it better with just the just the three lines kind of the three sections I should say. Going bam, 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 that's consistent. Uh maybe I'll throw some up on here again. Just for the sake of consistency, because I did like, I did kind of like them here. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it for now, I think. Uh, let's bring back in, we want to say Birmingham tradition, and since 1937, so, but we want to have a texture here, so. We use this one for the logo. I'll place this bad boy right here, where it looks terrible. And we're gonna make a clipping mask. There we go. So let's transform, let's move this down a little so 1937 is a little more legible because that is not too legible right now. Yeah, that seven can get cut off a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, I think this we're gonna leave it for now. Call it kind of, not a day, but Maybe a day for this, 